Hello there, my name's Trevor, this is Carol from Maystone Lindy Hoppers. We're along here at the Royal Engineers Museum to do a bit of a dance demo and to tell you more about us. We um, come from a ballroom background, but have always had an interest in the 1940s music, namely the Lindy Hop. Then we found that there was a practice club in or class in Maystone. In Not far from us. Yep. Yeah. Not too far to go. In the church hall at St Paul's at Boxley Road. So we went along to that and we were there for a short while, but the couple running it then wanted to move on, so it was going to fold. So we volunteered just to yeah. keep it going. <laughs> Having so. not been in it very long. <laughs> but several years later, we're still there. We have a class on average of about 20 people, which is couples and singles. We do strolls, we do single time, we do triple step, and we do some eight count. So we do vary it a bit and we tend to go over it so it gets what they say into the muscle memory. And we do work a little bit on technique yeah. and lead for the gents and how to follow for the ladies. If anybody wants to come along, they're more than welcome. Yeah, we have a Facebook page, which has got all our details of opening times, um, where to find us, the map, as, as you, and there's a lot of info about events that we've done in the past. Lots of pictures. Uh, yep, and yeah. Come along and find us. What we're going to do is to show you one of the most popular dances of Lindy Hop, which is the triple step. It's really just six steps broken up with a back step. Both steps are the same for the lady or the gentleman or the leader and the follower. It's just that you do it on opposite feet, otherwise it's exactly the same. We'll do this in open hold to start with. Uh, gents, you've got your left hand up, palm facing up. Ladies, it's your right hand with your palm facing down. We just want a comfortable grip so, because this is all about the lead. It doesn't want to be tight because you could break some fingers. It's also a very, very relaxed dance. So we've got this sort of soft knees, bum slightly out, and you're on the balls of your feet for the weight. Ladies, you go back on your right foot, gents, you're back on your left, and it's just a back replace and then a step, 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 on turn at feet, then back again on the left foot, right foot for the ladies. We'll try and do this nice and slow. So we'll do this after three. One, two, three. So you're going back, step, one, two, three, one, two, three, back, step, one, two, three, one, two, three, back, step, one, two, three, one, two, three, back, step. That is the basic steps you'll need for this. There are others that you'll have to change slightly for certain steps like the turns and when you go behind, but that's basically it. The next bit to show you is when you come together, you've just been doing that bit facing each other, now you turn slightly so you've got this nice V shape because you'll be dancing this with a partner, obviously as we're doing now, um, and you don't want to trip over and it is a couple's dance. Social distancing accepted at this time of year. We are married, so we're okay. So we do exactly the same, but now we're in hold. Gents, your hand is just above the lady's waistband on the back. Keep it there wherever possible because that's how you're going to help lead the lady into certain steps and it helps with balance and everything else. So soft knees, and we'll just do that now as we did just a little while ago. So we're going back, step, one, two, three, one, two, three, back, step. One, two, three, one, two, three, back, step. And that's all you do. If you just do this, you're what they call dancing, and you can do it in a circle. And that's it. The first move that we're going to add to that just involves the inside foot. Gents, your right foot, ladies, your left. And it just goes into a little dip. We'll just show you and then we'll explain it a bit more. So we do always do a couple of basics, just get you into moving. And then with the inside foot, just stick it forward into the ground. And then you're straight back into triple steps. One more time. So with your inside foot for both couples, just a little dip. And that's what we call the dip, because that's <laughs> what it is. The second well, the curtsy step, the curtsy as some step. people call it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a just put a weight onto that knee and bring it straight back. 
that comes, the second part of that is using the same foot, but instead of it going behind into a little dip, or in, sorry, in front for a little dip, it goes behind. And you also have to change the hand grip because you want to bring the lady in line with you, you have to raise this hand as well as putting your foot behind. So you're using two things. Guys, you are multitasking here. So we'll just do the second one. So again, we do a couple of basics just to get into it. And then as you raise your left hand, put the foot behind. If you've no ballroom, it's similar to a whisk. The other most popular step is what they call it a twist turn or a waist turn, which is where you turn the lady under the arm and you bring her back to face you. Again, you're using the same steps. The lady, I think, has got something slightly different, but the pattern's the same and the steps are the same. It's just that she's turning. Um, this is called a waist turn. Again, for this one, guys, leaders, you raise the hand and you pass the lady under that archway. Don't let go, because that's another step. But we'll just show you now the waist turn. So again, a couple of basics to get into this. And then as you come back this time, hands raised, pass the lady under the arm. You're still triple stepping all the way here. And you can bring her back into this close hold. You're doing nothing different, but so the ladies are doing it while they're turning. It's our job to make them look good. <laughs> so we'll put all those together for you now. Again, we'll do a couple of basics in between each one. So we'll go a couple of basics. And then we'll go into this dip, which is the inside feet. Then we'll go for the one behind. And we've got a couple more basic steps just to get you settled again. Then we'll pass the lady under. Again, don't let go. This is why you've got to keep this hand fairly close. This is what they call open hold. And then we come back in the close hold, you just invite the lady back in, take the side again there. So that's the start of it, just a little routine we've put together, just to help beginners and even guys that have been doing it for a while, just to uh, keep some steps in their memory. The other one we do is what they call a stop and go. Again, this is again, they use this one in, in certain ballroom dances. Again, you're doing your basic. You've got to put the lady under for this spin. You've got to go into what they call open hold. Again, not losing this grip. This time, again, you pull the lady towards you, towards your right-hand side. And it's called a stop and go because you've got to stop the lady from going any further. You can use this hand for that. And it's just this. Again, your inside leg's doing the same as you did with the curtsy step. You can do it as many times as you like. Or you can make it just the twice so you don't get too dizzy. Pull the lady back in and you've got to dance. We're now going to put this to music and we're going to show you those moves in amongst some others so you've got a general idea of how it fits in with the sort of music we do and we're just going to show off some extra moves. What you calling, what you doing tonight? I hope you're in the mood because I'm feeling just right. How's about a corner with a table for two? Where the music's mellow and some gay rendezvous. There's no chance for romancing with the blue attitude. You've got to do some dancing to get in the mood. Sister, what you call them? That's a timely idea. Something swing a dither would be good to my ear. Everybody must agree that dancing has charm. When you have the certain one you love in your arms Stepping up with you will be a sweet and dilute A fill or a profound will put me in the mood In the mood That's it, I got it In the mood Your ear will spot it In the mood I wanna hide it Be alive and get the job You got to learn how Hep, hep, hep Hep like a hepper Pep, pep, pep Hot as a pepper, step, step, step Step like a stepper, we're mugging and hugging We're in the mood now Mr. Watcha 
to call them all you need, it was fun You can see the wonders that this evening has done Your feet were so heavy, feel the how they couldn't move Now the light is feathers and you're right in the groove You were only hungry for some musical food You're positively, absolutely in the mood Sister, what you call a mom and daddy to you It all goes to show a good influence can do Never felt so happy and so fully alive Since the jam and jumping is a powerful child Swingaroo has given me a new attitude My heart is through the rhythm and I'm in the mood In the mood, that's it, cause I got it and I'm in the mood Your ear will smart it when you're in the mood Alive and get the job, you got to learn how. Hep, 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 you're helping like a hepper full of pep, pep, pep. You're hot as a pepper and a step, step, step. Step, step, step.